Welcome to Omron's Quick Tip video. Today I'll be showing you how to set up the RS-485 module for programless communication between the SysMac NX1P to an E5C temperature control. The NX1P uses the communication module either the NX1W CIF-11 or the CIF-12. In this case I have a CIF-11 and I'm showing you my dip switch settings here. One and two are on, three is on, four is off, and five and six are on. Here's the wiring from the module to E5CC temperature controllers. In this case I have an E5DC temperature controller and I'm wiring the 485 to terminals three and four. I've set up communications on my E5DC temperature controller according to this chart here. So I've set it up for fins and my baud rate is 57.6 and the area that I'm using is the data memory area. In my PLC I'm going to be looking at data memory 0 through 14 for the read data and I'm going to be looking at data memories 15 through 29 for my write data. So if I need to change the set point I will do that in data memory 17. And in this example the hardware that I'm using is the NX1P2 9024DT1 along with NX1W CIF11, the E5DC temperature controller with 485 communications, an S8 VK power supply, a W4S switch, and some Ethernet cables. I've opened up SysMac Studio and I'm going to create a new project. And here I'll call this project NX1P to E5DC controls. And I'm going to set up my, select my controller, the NX1P2. And I've got the 9024DT1 controller. And I'll click Create. I'll go to Configuration, Controller Setup, my built-in Ethernet IP port. When I communicate, I'll be communicating to 192.168.250.1. I'll select my option board setting and in this case I'm going to have an NX1W CIF11 and I'll set it up for fins and my baud rate is going to be 57.6. I'll now set up my memory setting and I'm going to select data memory. The PLC will automatically gather the data and put it into data memories for this programless communications. I'll go down to data, global variables, and I'm going to insert a new variable and I'm just going to call it data. And I'm going to make it an array and it's an array of words and it's going to be from 0 to 29. My AT specification is going to be percent %D0 and I'll click on retain because data memories are memory retentive. Now I will go to controller communication setup and I've got a hub here and I'm going to set it up for 192.168 250.1. I'll check my Ethernet communications. Comes back OK. I'll click OK. Go online. And I'm going to download. Click Yes. Yes again. And I'm done there. 
now I'll bring up a watch tab and I'm going to enter in data and the data that I want is 0 to 29 I can now open this up and in data memory 7 I'm going to make that a decimal and also data memory 8 I'll make a decimal as well data memory 7 shows my present value and data memory 8 shows my set point so my temperature controller is currently reading 80.5 degrees and the set point is set for 80 and data memory 17 I'm gonna also select that for decimal that's gonna be my set point that I can change so in data memory 0 to 14 these are areas that I can read and then in data memories 15 through 29 these are areas that I can write so if I have a 1 in data memory 15 then I can change my set point so here I'll set it up for 90 degrees and you can see also here my read temperature set point back is 90 degrees and that is how to set up the NX1P for programless communications to the E5C temperature controllers.